So uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to make a, a three-dimensional star. And there's all kinds of different uh, stars that can be made. Some of them are uh, uh, very complex, but we'll, we'll do a, a simple one that's suitable for these big uh, uh, pieces of cardboard. So um, first of all, we're going to hook a bunch of triangles together like this to make uh, points for uh, for the star. So, go like so, like so. And then this one's, a, you know, the final thing's a little tricky, but, you know, like, just like that. Okay, so now I've got uh, four points over there. And when you uh, assemble them, you notice that there's the hooks and which way the hooks are pointing, so which direction. So this is like a clockwise direction. And uh, so you notice that all of these other ones, in fact, the hook is also in a clockwise direction, you know, when it's facing outward. And so that's actually important. So if, for instance, we, you know, we're doing like this, now it's the other way, it's counterclockwise. And then, you know, from there, you know, I can make something that looks like what these other ones are. But, look, you know, I can't actually, you know, fit it together with, with, with them. But the ones that are oriented in the same direction, it, you, you can, in fact. So that's the one thing to keep in mind is when you're making the points for your, uh, for your star, you have to make sure that all the points are oriented in the same direction as you make them. So these are all clockwise orientation. So we will go ahead and you know continue in that way. And just do I've got uh, five now. So the uh, really the simplest uh, uh, three dimensional. Uh, star has uh, eight points, and so the uh, so essentially what it is is it's putting uh, a point like each of these. I now have eight points on uh, the, the sides of a, an octahedron. You see, now I'm going to put them together. Like so. like that. It's half of it. Now let's do the other, other half. You, you can hear the kitchen sounds in the background. Okay, so we're getting close now to, to being done. Move it out there so you can see kind of what it looks like so far before we put the last point on. Right. 
And so now I've got an eight-pointed three-dimensional star. And what it looks like is uh, two uh, tetrahedra that are, uh, you know, kind of entangled in uh, one another. This is like a, a stellated octahedron, would be a technical term. And, you know, what I want to leave you with is the idea that, um, you know, this is mathematics. So not all mathematics is about numbers. That's right, Robbie. Um, some... Some mathematics is about um, form and, and shape. And we actually you know, needed to know an important kind of abstract mathematical term to, to know how to make the shape. So when I talked about the orientation of the piece and how you had to have compatible orientation, so there's this clockwise orientation that we chose for, for this shape. That you, that, that's actually uh, an important mathematical fact. So, and there's no numbers involved at all. Okay, the stellated octahedra is uh, signing off. <laughs>